Okay, that was the first basic we wanted to show you. We can call it bottom to the top. And now we will talk about the second one. Let's pay attention to this point. We are dominating and the opponents don't have many chances to be aggressive or to defend a good lob or get the net. But suddenly, everything changes when I take a wrong decision. Here we can perfectly see that Robert is moving to the right side and trying to follow him and he decides to play his volley on the left side. The shot is quite good, but it's not good enough to win the point. And now the player who was defending before has much more time to play an offensive shot. Let's watch it again. It's clear that I didn't take the right decision. After that shot, I left all the empty space on the left side of the court. And if Fermin goes to cover that shot, all the empty space will be in the center. When Robert play on the left side of the court, of course will be a possible solution to cover all the empty spaces to move both together on the left side of the court. But unfortunately, when Robert is hitting the ball, we are both already moving on the right side. That means that we have no time to come back and cover the empty space on my left side. Here we can see a similar situation. The defenders are trying to play a passing shot, but we are always covering the empty spaces. We will only change the direction of our shot if we both can move on that side of the court at the same moment we hit the ball. If we are not able to do this, then we will try to keep the same line we were playing before. Most of the times we're going to try to play on the same direction we move our body. Why? Because it's more natural and also because we can get three different benefits. Okay, the first one, all my weight is going in that direction, so normally my shot would be much more aggressive than if I only play with my arm, changing the direction of my body. The second one, my partner can always follow me, and that will help us a lot to protect the empty spaces. The third one, if we always respect this rule and we always move together on the same side we play the shot, we will be always ready for the next possible shot from my opponent. So basically, after I touch the ball, I don't need to move anymore. I am already in the right spot. If we mix these two basic concepts, the bottom to the top and the directions right to the left, it will help us a lot to understand better the game and take better decisions. Hey! Hey! What are you doing, man? But you didn't subscribe! Yes, I did. Hmm.